you may see the fire department arriving in your neighborhood and then deploying a drone. In this video, I'm going to share with you why and how we use drones here at the Cape Girardeau Fire Department. Check this out. Today, we are going to explain some cool facts about the CGFD drone program. Each year, we average around 120 drone flight missions. This includes training flights, emergency incidents, and even assisting the Cape Girardeau Police Department. All personnel who operate the drone are required to maintain a FAA Part 107 license. What's that, you may ask? That is our driver's license to fly small, unmanned aircraft vehicles, or UAVs for short. Now, before each mission, each pilot must do a pre-flight checklist once they arrive at the takeoff location. Here's some examples of how drones assist public safety in our work. In a water rescue, victims can be located quickly that can't be seen clearly from the shore. Additional information regarding the victim and their location can be relayed to rescuers, providing a clear and safe path for those rescuers. Victims lost in the woods or in a large field can be located quickly with the eyes in the sky from the drone. In a structure fire, the thermal imaging capabilities of the drone help the fire department to determine different hot spots so we can make sure that the fire is completely extinguished. In rope rescue, the drone gives us a bird's eye view of the entire situation to ensure the safety of all rescuers and victims. The Cape Girardeau Police Department is assisted by the Cape Girardeau Fire Department in crime scene documentation by getting an aerial view of where potential evidence may be located. Drones can also be used to get close to hazardous materials to identify potential hazards and leaks before rescuers enter the hazardous area. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned tomorrow for a special 4th of July video. And happy 4th of July weekend everyone.